Okay, it is 6.30. So, uh, welcome everybody to the March Street Life Committee of Community Board 8. My name is Abraham Salcido. I chair this committee. Um, a few rules of the road. I will go down uh, the agenda in order. I will uh, ask for the representative of each application. I will ask the representative to state their name for the record and give us a brief overview of their application. I will then um, see if there's any members of the public that have questions or comment on that particular application. And after that, I will then go to my fellow committee members um, for any questions or comments. As a reminder, any, <clears throat> any action that this committee takes, whether it be approval, uh, a denial or otherwise, those will go to the full board meeting on Wednesday, March 17th, uh, also over Zoom. Those details are on the community board um, website and that will apply unless there is a due date before that meeting. Um, and that's it. So um, starting at the top, actually first, Will, uh, I just wanna make sure I have a full role of committee members. I'm seeing myself, Russell, Barbara, Barry, Cause Marco. And I believe that is it. If there's any other committee members that I did not call out, uh, feel free to raise your hand, but I think that's everyone for now. Okay, starting with item 1A, do I have a representative for item 1A, La Picora Bianca, new application for liquor, wine, beer, and cider? Sorry about that. Uh, I think I see Mark. Um, I'm also going to quickly give a little bit of a spiel about how the Zoom meetings work because I see a yep. lot of new faces. Um, first, uh, you'll notice that everyone is muted. You're not able to unmute yourself. Uh, the only people who are unmuted is myself and uh, Abraham and the applicant as we call on them. Um, following each uh, applicant, uh, their presentation, we will uh, go to members of the public who wish to speak. You'll engage the meeting using the reactions button at the bottom of your screen. You'll find the raise hand button there under the reactions button at the bottom of your screen. Um, you'll need to only push that once because if you push it twice, your hand will go back down and we'll lose you. Don't wave at us. Don't wave at us through your camera. You're going to be hard to find. <laughs> Um, and if you're calling in from the phone, it's star nine to raise your hand and star six to unmute. So whenever we call on you, whenever Abraham calls your name, uh, you'll see a button that will pop up on your screen, giving you the ability to unmute. You need to click that before you start speaking. Uh, if you're using an older version of Zoom, the raise hand button will be found under the participants menu. And the final thing is that the chat is not going to the applicants and does not go to the uh, co-chair, the chair of the, the meeting. It is only for technical support. It was. It is not for just weighing in on your opinions about an application. So if you have any problems with the software, chat me. Otherwise, uh, Mark, you're unmuted. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm, Mark, I'm Mark Barak. I'm the uh, CEO and founder of La Pecora Bianca, um, a small independent restaurant group in New York City. Um, would you like me to share a little bit about us and our application, or do you want to move to questions? What's the best uh, way to No, yeah, feel free to uh, just share a little bit about yourselves and the business, and then, uh, then I'll ask for questions. You got it. So um, <clears throat> we were founded in uh, 2015. We currently have three locations in New York. Uh, one, our first location, La Pecora Bianca, which, by the way, means the white sheep in Italian. Um, uh, first location, uh, 26th and Broadway. Uh, second location was on 50th and 2nd in a pretty similar building. Actually, it's the same address, 301 East 50th, to um, where we are hopefully going to be occupying um, uh, as the subject of this call, which is 301 East 81st. Um, so that was our second location, LPB, La Pecora Bianca Midtown. And we just opened in COVID, believe it or not, in October, 
Our third location, La Pecora Bianca Soho, on the corner of uh, Prince and Lafayette. Uh, we are a casual Italian neighborhood restaurant focusing on house-made pasta. Every single pasta is made in-house. Um, the, 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 our whole vibe is to kind of um, serve our community and be a kind of third space uh, for um, everyone in our community. We're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or certainly we're so we're pre-COVID. Um, and it's a very approachable price point. And we're really kind of trying to re-envision what a neighborhood restaurant can be um, uh, in today's kind of times. Um, so, right. um, you know, food is very important to us. We are primarily a, uh, we're, we're a full service restaurant for avoidance of doubt. Um, the majority of our revenue comes from food. This is not a bar. This is not a nightclub. This is not anything like that. Um, you know, relationships with our community is very, are very important to us. We have got a great relationship with the Flatiron Bid, as an example, uh, who we worked with very closely in the open restaurants program during COVID, uh, creating the, what's called the Nomad Piazza. Uh, the street in front of our Broadway location is closed, so that enabled us and helped us survive. Um, so I think one of my references is actually Kurt Kavanaugh, who's uh, uh, one of the people at the Flatiron Bid. Uh, similarly, in, in Midtown, we went into a, a, a kind of condo building that, you know, initially was a little bit reticent about having a restaurant come into their building, as, you know, people sometimes are. And um, we've developed a great relationship with the building. And, and I, I'd like to think they're not very happy to have us. The, the president of the board comes in and dines with us often, uh, et cetera. So we're very neighborhood oriented. Um, you know, I personally, uh, you know, come from a, a business background. Um, you know, I was uh, working at the NBA for David Stern for a few years and, and before that uh, as a banker for my sins. Uh, and um, and um, I, we take a very kind of um, straightforward approach to, and hopefully enlightened approach to, to restaurants. And, you know, we offer our team 401k with the maximum match. We offer health insurance. You know, I'm on a kind of personal mission to provide the same kind of benefits and security uh, in this industry that typically is not had it as I had in the corporate world. Um, and hopefully we live true to those values. Um, uh, and, um, and we launched that actually, one of the things I'm most proud of actually is that we launched 401k with two restaurants in 2017. So um, I don't want to talk too much about myself, um, but um, you know, we're excited to join the Upper East Side. As a personal note, I grew up on 80th between York and East End. Um, so this is kind of a, a, a full circle, uh, coming, coming home for me, this project, um, and, um, happy to answer any questions and, and share more, but again, I, I don't want to talk too much. No, that's great. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate that. Um, okay. So before I take questions, just for the record, um, hours of operation I have down as Sunday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. and then Friday, Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. to midnight. Correct. And then the uh, food drink ratio, 65 food, 35 drink. So that's fine as well. I will now go to the public. Do I have any members of the public uh, with questions or comments on this application, 1A? Remember to find the raise hand button under the reactions at the bottom of your screen or hit star nine on your phone. Okay, we'll give it a second. I'm not seeing any at the moment. No. So then I will go to our my committee members. I first saw Russell's hand, so I will go to Russell first. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, so I had a question. There was some information, I guess, left off the form. So one of the questions that I had is, um, have you had any complaints at your other locations? Nope. And I, I, um, I will take Max Bookman to task for not completing our forms properly. Thank you. Okay. Oh, uh, that Max. That Max, he's, you know, I love him. But uh, <laughs> no, it's good to have something to rhythm about. So thank you, Russell. Uh, but no, we have not had any complaints. Um, as I said, uh, we, were, we aim to be in, and hopefully we have a record of being great neighbors. Great. Mark, uh, just a quick side question for me. <clears throat> Will you uh, be a, a separately applying for a sidewalk cafe at another time? So, you know, we're, we're in this kind of awkward, not awkward, but but interim phase where what, what we're going to definitely be doing is is the temporary COVID seating. Uh, yep. That's going to be replaced 
at some point we know by something else, probably sure. after September 30th. And yes, the plan is, I don't know that they're going to go back to what was before with DCA or what it's going to be, but whatever regulatory regime is in place at the time we open, we will be applying for outdoor seating under that regime. Understood. Great. Thank you. Uh, and now I'll go to Marco. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'd like to ask a question. I think you have all the restaurants in the area. Is that correct? We have another restaurant on 50th Street and 2nd Avenue. That's probably the closest one. Uh, the, my question is, how is, um, have you been, because I saw a statistic in the, in the newspaper that said the 80 to 90% of the restaurants didn't pay the rent. Are you one of them? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, what I would say is um, we are currently operating with under full agreements with all of our landlords. We've got great relationships with our landlords and, um, and certainly uh, both uh, us and our landlords are, have been interested in making sure that we survive and make it through to the other side because they think we're good tenants. And so uh, we're certainly paying rent every month. No, they, thank you. Good news. Congratulations. And thank I you. would like to propose a motion to approve. <laughs> thank you, Marco. Thank That's you. very kind. Thank you. Uh, Barry, is that a second? Yes, that's a second. Thank you. Great. Okay, so I have a second on the move to approve. Does someone want to call a question? Call a question. Great. Okay. Uh, if anyone opposes uh, calling the question, feel free to raise your hand. Otherwise, we'll go to a roll on the approval. So um, for voting purposes on Zoom, since we have a lot of new faces, the way we do it is for the committee members present, we will assume they're in favor of the proposed motion unless someone uh, raises their hand to vote no, abstain or not voting for cause. So right now, if any committee members are voting no, abstaining or not voting for cause, raise your hand. Otherwise, this will go down as a approval. Okay, another five seconds, seeing none. Okay, Mark, thank you very much. Good luck to you. And thank this will go as approval. All right, I appreciate it and hope to see you all at uh, La Pecora Bianca. Great, thank you. Bye-bye. And Abraham, do you mind really quickly, let's just go through and make sure we have all of the board members accounted for. So just everybody who you see. Yep, I have, I have Russell, Barbara, Barry, Kaz, and Marco. Anybody else, please raise your hand or chat me. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, now moving to item two, 1B. Do I have a representative for Copri Corp, uh, DBA Cacio e Pepe? Uh, Robert, you can unmute yourself. Yes, good evening. Um, could you also unmute uh, Mr. Giusto Priola? He's the owner of the establishment. Okay. I see him, um, but well, I don't know if he's... He's on a phone. He's on a phone. So can you hear us? Yeah, I don't think he can hear us. No, I see him, but uh, have, him, have him join the audio if you can talk to him or text him. Okay. Just give you one second. Yay. Hey, Justo. All right, listen, you have to go to the, uh, you have to unmute yourself. Uh, how would he unmute himself on the phone? No, he can't do that. He just has to join the meeting's okay. audio. Oh, you have to join the audio. Do you know how to do that? No, he, 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 he just for the. Okay, you can tell them to look for the headphones icon. Um, but do you feel comfortable presenting? Yes, question. absolutely. Um, all right, well, we'll, we'll get started and hopefully he'll figure it out. All right, good evening. My name is Robert Callahan from Michael Kelly, Inc. I'm representing uh, uh, Copri Corporation. So this is an on-premise liquor license. So 
for Copri Corp doing business as Casio e Pepe. We're located at 1479 York Avenue between East 78th Street and East 79th Street. That's formerly uh, Eastfield. Right. Um, the location has continuously been licensed by the SLA since 1966. Um, we are a full service, family friendly Italian restaurant. Um, our hours will be 12 a.m., uh, 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. seven days a week. Uh, we will have 56 seats uh, at 28 tables and nine seats at a small bar. Uh, we will provide light background music. Uh, we will have no French doors or windows that open. Um, there will be no outdoor seating except if there is a, a COVID related seating that makes us uh, sit outdoors. Um, Mr. Priol has been an owner of several premises that have been licensed since uh, continuously since 2006, most of them um, uh, downtown on 2nd Avenue uh, below 14th Street, uh, where he has been successful with these restaurants. But being the times that it is, uh, he needs to uh, go to a little bigger place. So we're going to try the Upper East Side, which is a uh, a great neighborhood. I worked there for over 20 years, so I know he'll be successful there. Uh, if you have any questions, we'd be glad to answer them. Okay, thank you. Uh, so first I'll see if there's any member of the public with a question or comment on this application. A reminder to use the raise hand feature. Not seeing any thus far. Then I will invite questions from our, from my committee members. Marco. Uh, thank you. Uh, one question. Um, I don't know if you can ask me the question before about the rent payments. Do you think your clients always pay the rent or having a problem to pay the rent? Because I, I'm, I'm using the, the records saying that 80% of the restaurants and 90% of the end of the year, they didn't pay the rent. Are, is he one of them or uh, you have an idea? No, no, he's been able to pay his rent. Oh, uh, great, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Motion yeah, he, to approve. He, he's, he's, he's been in the business for a while, Marco. Oh, so okay, he, he, I like to hear that. I like yeah, to hear he, all he, he figures out how to get it done. Very good. It may not be 100%, but he gets it done. As long as they are doing the business very well, I'm very happy to see that. Motion to approve if it's possible. Thank you. Great. Um, before, I, before I take your second, Barry, um, how, just question on the SLA license. How, how is the, the measurement being, given that there's a liquor license being so close to PS 158? I know that the previous locations have had it, but. Okay. so. The State Liquor Authority, uh, before the 200 rule for yep. foot rule came into effect, any premise that's been licensed continuously, um, mm -hmm. they actually grandfathered in. Okay. Um, so this premise, except for the last few months, has been previously licensed. The only reason that it wasn't licensed was because of the COVID. Right. Uh, East Fields was just not able to continue. So they had to give the place up. If you if you look on the SLA website, uh, technically their license was good until 2022. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so they will let us take the spot since it's been existing. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, yeah, uh, you, and you'll see our 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 ratio is 80 20. And uh, you know what? That's being generous with the 20. Uh, it, it, he's run just Italian restaurants. So uh, as far as a yep. drinking crowd, it's not a bar. Um, so he really doesn't have anybody. We, we, we don't even know if they'll, the, the bar seats will even be filled. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Thanks for clarifying You're that. Welcome. Okay, uh, so we already had a second. Uh, and do we have uh, someone want to call the question? Russell. Great, Russell's calling a question, great. Um, Okay, if anyone is opposed to that, let us know. Otherwise, we'll go to the roll and that'll go as an approval. So again, if you're voting no, not voting for cause or abstaining, uh, raise your hand. Otherwise, you will go down as an approval for item 1B. 
Okay, seeing none, that will go as an approval. Thank you very much. Thank you, have a great night, everyone. Likewise. And Abraham, I just wanna note for that vote, uh, Mrs. Brown had joined. Great, and Mrs. Brown, did you wanna participate in that one or did you wanna wait till 2A? Just unmute yourself, Mrs. Brown. Yes, okay. Uh, I want to participate and I approve. Okay, great. Thank you. I will put you down. So that's a six zero. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great. Okay, now we're on item 2A. Uh, do I have the representative for Heidi's house, which I presume you can do 2A and 2B? Is that Beth? Beth, is that you? Oh, no, David, sorry. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hi, my name is Ed Webster. I am one of the um, current owners. My wife, Heidi, and I own Heidi's house by the side of the road and Ed's elbow room, the adjacent um, wine tavern um, on East 78th between 1st and 2nd Avenue. We've been there since 2011, um, small neighborhood place. We are um, in the process of changing the corporate ownership. Um, Beth and David Hazan will be the um, new owners. Um, it will be a slow transition. Um, nothing outwardly will change. Uh, the seating, the um, menu, um, everything will remain the same. It'll just be a matter of who owns the business. Okay, understood. And this is the same for both? Yes, it is. Okay, great. Uh, all right, so just for the record, uh, we're, we'll, when we get to voting, unless someone wants to call it out, I'm going to do 2A and 2B together since it's the same applicant and same LLC. Um, it's corporate change. Okay, do I have any public hands, questions, comments for 2A slash 2B? Not okay, seeing, any. seeing none, uh, do I have a committee member, Mrs. Brown? Yes, thank you. I'm a little confused on the food drink portion. Uh, one states, uh, the one on, on 78th Street is 35% food and 65% drinks. And then the other one for uh, East 78th Street, um, well, one is 65% and then the, um, the um, food is 35 So I'm a little confused. Well, that's that, the, so the before sure. COVID, Heidi's house was the restaurant and we have a waiting list almost every night. So we took the adjoining space for people to sit and nurse a beer or a glass of wine while they wait to get into Heidi's house. On that side, we also served popcorn, frozen pizza, things that we could serve pre-packaged. So the uh, ratio of food to alcohol, there was, there was less food, but part of, part, predominantly um, wine and beer on the Ed's side, Heidi's house remained um, 65% food and 35% wine. Now that's changed during the COVID time because we're not serving, we're not acting as a bar or as a tavern, everything is food. Um, but when we um, are back up to speed, um, Heidi's house will be 35, 65 and Ed's will be uh, probably 55, 45. Um, but it's Ed's is not really a standalone bar. It's really sort of the adjacent room for Heidi's house. We have on, on before COVID times, we would have perhaps a third of our patrons um, just coming in to sit and have some popcorn and, and a glass of beer and a glass of wine. Um, but the other people were waiting to get in a Heidi's house. Thank you for the explanation. You're welcome. Great. Marco? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm very familiar with your restaurant. Uh, I, I live very close by. And mm -hmm. I think it's a good restaurant that doesn't have no problems at all. And, um, and I keep, would like to keep asking the same question as before. Did you pay the rent <laughs> or you yes. have a problem? Oh, good. Yes. Uh, I, I always, I like to hear that. Uh, if not, I'm still very sad only, but uh, I will support that, uh, that application and I would like to recommend the, to be approved. Thank you. Okay, great. Do I have a thumbs up for a second? Great, I Russell, see. thank you. So that's a second. Uh, call a question. So, Ms. Brown, is your hand for calling a question? Yes. Okay, wonderful. If there's anyone opposed, let us know. Otherwise, we're going to go to the roll. And 
on the roll again. This will go as an approval unless someone is raising their hand to vote no, not voting for cause or abstaining. So taking a look, looks like there's no hands. So for the record, items 2A and 2B will go as unanimous approvals. Uh, thank you, Ed, and uh, continued good luck. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, do I have a representative for item 2C as in Charlie, PK and Son, LLC, DBA match? I see, there you go, Flavia? Having problems with your camera. <laughs> Just unmute yourself whenever you guys are settled. Sorry, it's my Italian side. Okay, hi. Uh, this is Flavia. How are you? Uh, Good, how my are you? place is called Match 65 Brasserie. It's a very small French bistro, and we are at uh, 65th Street between Madison and Park. We are not quite new in the neighborhood. We have been there almost 17 years. Um, we are here today because we are just asking for a corporation change. I mean, an application corporation change because unfortunately my husband and partner passed away. So I'm here alone on the business and we need your help to move on. Great. Thank you very much. And again, our, our okay. okay. Um, do I have any questions or comments from public member or from the public? Seeing none, I will go to Mrs. Brown. Um, yes, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank uh, you. But you're welcome. I only have one question. I'm looking at your application. I don't see the food wine ratio, even though it's just a name change. Would you mind sharing that with me, please? Uh, because we are not a new business. We are an existing business and... Uh, Everything stayed yeah, the same. I, I mean, everything stayed the same. No hour change, no uh, I, I, license change. I, under, I understand that, but what I'm asking is for the ratio, please, of the food versus. Oh, the food. Uh, oh, it's a it's a foodies place. It's a, I would say an eighty percent food against a just twenty percent in alcohol. My bar is super okay. small, okay. and. Uh, and my bar can stand probably four people. So just to yeah. give an idea. All right. Not at this time. Well, yeah, not at this time, of course. Thank you. I, I support the change. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Marco? Thank you again. Uh, I'm really sorry. For, I did. For, for <laughs> I did. Husband. And, uh, and I hope to move forward. And we are right here to help you. And uh, the only, the, the, I'm going to keep asking all of them. I did, uh, I did. I never did. miss one month, Beautiful. even like March. I'm very, no, don't show me. This is my envelope. It's going out Perfect today. Perfect time. As, as, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come you to the support, And I strongly recommend that they are, that to approve this application. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, so I'll take that as a move to approve. Barry, there, uh, sorry. I saw your thumbs up as a... Abraham, before you yeah. move on, Judy, oh. Judy, use the raise hand feature in the uh, reactions if you can next yeah. time. Oh, what, but what? Uh, Judy had her hand up. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I would use the raise hand feature, except for that tonight I couldn't get on on the calendar, and there is no raised hand feature tonight. So the only thing I can do is raise my hand. I just wanted to know if I missed it, um, what the hours of operation were. Yes, we open every day for lunch at 11.30 and we close right now, of course, we close at 11, but we always did close at 11. We're not a late place. Okay, and again, I'm also offering my condolences. I'm sorry. Thank to you hear. very much. I appreciate Thank it. You. That was a bad thing, bad. Thank you, Judy. Uh, okay, so I have a motion to approve. I have a second with Barry's thumbs up, if I remember seeing. And do I have hands for calling the question yes okay great if anyone's opposed to calling the question uh let me know otherwise we'll go to the roll okay so again this will go as an approval uh if you're voting no not voting for cause or abstaining uh please raise your hand otherwise this will go down as an approval thank you flavia and good luck and thank you well. thank you come to the restaurant yeah <laughs> great okay Thank you, guys. Now I'm moving on to category three items. 
And these are the 30 day waiver applications. So for, do I have a representative for 3A, please um, walk us through the application, the reason for the waiver request and uh, confirm that you've complied with the uh, CB8 stipulations. Randy, is that you for this item? Just give me a nod. Is your name's on the application? I have to unmute. Let's try. Randy, confirm unmuting if you're going to be the person presenting. I believe our attorney is going to represent us, Monica, okay. um, from our law firm, and explain the nature of the need for the um, the 30 days. I believe she should be online. What is her name? Monica. Monica Ver. If not, I can explain it. I am not seeing her, but if she raises her hand through the participant menu or through the uh, reactions, we'll see her. Dana, no, I at the moment. So Randy, you might have to take this one. I can walk through it very simply. Great. Um, we are located at 125 East 85th Street. It is the Kehilleth Jeshurun um, Synagogue slash Ramaz School, um, where we are the in-house caterer. Uh, we came to you, I believe, two years ago. We're um, unanimously, with no objections, we were granted the right to have a liquor license to service the community within the building. Over the last year, with the synagogue being closed um, and the offices being closed, our ability to get our mail through and if that came into the building was um, snail mail. When we finally got the information that, that we needed, we we've started filing right away. We filed with the SLA and they did already send us a liquor license. Um, but we realized we didn't, we realized we didn't uh, complete our commitment to the community board by letting them know that we were going to ask for a renewal. Since then, we have um, put out our, our flyers we have posted our notices um, and we have done everything that we have been asked to do, but um, I don't want to use COVID for an excuse, but it's the reality of the situation. We haven't even been open for the last year. We hope to reopen when the schools, when, when, when the building gets totally reopened again. Very much understood, appreciate that. Uh, just one observation before I go to the, um, to see if there's any questions from the public. Um, it looks like we didn't receive the full, uh, I understand that this is a, a, a waiver request, but we would still appreciate the full application uh, documents to be sent. Uh, so if you can have either you or you can have your attorney submit them to us so we have it in full as part of our packet, that would be appreciated. I give you my word. Great. Okay, um, do I have any members of the public with any questions on this application? I'm seeing none. So then I will go to uh, committee members, Barry. Move to approve the application. Okay, great, thank you. Marco. Uh, uh, I would like to ask the question. So you didn't pay the rent for those periods of time that you were closed? I'm right or wrong, Mr. Randy? Um, um, you, you, no, you are wrong. No, no, I'm asking. <laughs> we, 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 we are up to date. We pay oh, on, great, great. Thank we, you. We pay on a commission basis. We owe the synagogue no money at this time. Um, unfortunately, great. due to having no business. 
Thank you. Right. That's, that's called me my attention. And thank you so much. That's, that's the only question I, I have for you. Thank, thank you. you. And I, I would like to second if it's possible. Thank Great. you. Great. Okay, so we have a second. Russell, I'm assuming your thumbs up is to call the question. Great. Uh, if anyone's opposed to calling the question, uh, let me know now. Otherwise, we'll go to the vote, in which case, again, uh, this will go as an approval unless someone raises their hand because they're voting no, not voting for cause or abstaining. This is 3A. Seeing none, that will go as a 6-0 approval. Thank you very much. Well, I would and like hopefully, to hopefully you'll be able to reopen soon. Well, God willing, hopefully all of New York. Yes, agreed. Thank you very much, Randy. Uh, everyone, please be safe and remember life is precious and we need to take care of each other. And I'm not looking to be a lecturer or a preacher, but it's a fact. Thank you very much. Be well. Take care. Okay, moving on to item 3B. Do I have the representative for uh, Inez? Rakesh, is that you? Yep, that's me. Can you hear me? Yep. Hi, Rakesh. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, so, yeah, just a quick um, explanation of the need for the 30-day waiver and confirm that you complied with the stipulations from Feb. Sure thing. Um, the need for the 30-day waiver is really just an oversight on us on the, receiving that, that yellow sort of renewal slip in the mail. Uh, we just had to expedite it. We're running short on time. Um, and uh, we complied with uh, the requirements uh, that were requested by the community board. Uh, okay. in terms of the most signage and, and hopefully you receive the, the completed application. Um, yep, it looks like who, I do have that, yeah. For those who aren't familiar with Inez, uh, we're a, a, just a small neighborhood cafe on 74th Street between First and York. Um, alcohol is really just 10% of our sales. We've been open throughout the entirety of COVID uh, as uh, identified as an essential business, um, primarily to serve uh, coffee um, and uh, you know breakfast and some lunch. We close at 4.30 uh, in the afternoon um, and open up at 7.30 in the morning um, and have been um, in operations since January 2018. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Do I have anyone from the public on this item? Seeing none, I will take committee members. Marco? And thank you. Uh, I mean, this is completely a restaurant or a cafe. There's nothing to be worried about this, this place at all. But yep. uh, uh, my question is, uh, did you pay the rent or not? <laughs> I'm sorry that be repetitive always. No, no, of course. Yeah, Marco, we, we have been uh, paying rent. Um, thank you. Uh, I support your application. <laughs> and even you don't pay, I got to support. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Uh, Barry? Move to approve. Okay, so I'll put you as a second to Marco's move to approve. Okay, great. Uh, call the question, Mrs. Brown. Yes, call the question. Sorry, Abraham, I accidentally muted you. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, we're going to the roll. So if anyone's voting no, not voting for cause or abstaining, uh, raise your hand. Otherwise, this will go as a, an approval uh, for item 3B. Seeing no hands. Uh, thank you, Rakesh. And good luck. Continue. Good luck. Thank you, guys. Have a great evening. Stay safe. Great. You too. Okay, item 3C, Harlem San, oh, AOC East. Is the representative uh, here? Can uh, they... Jerome is raising, waving his hand. Hello. Hi, hello, Jerome. How are you? Hi, everyone. How are you? Good. Um, so, yes, yeah, so thank you. So, this is uh, Jerome, uh, represent uh, Harlem Sam Inc. Uh, DBA is AOC East on uh, First Avenue, 1590 yes. First Avenue between 82nd and 83rd. Um, so, this is for the renewal of our uh, liquor license. We've been operating since 2017. Um, and what happened, unfortunately, is that we missed the renewal in the mail. We did not receive it and only realized two days later that uh, 
it has passed. Um, so, yeah, okay. so we are a French restaurant, uh, French wine bar. We open from 4 to 11 every day. Great. Okay. Then, uh, and you did, and you did the postings. Great. Yes, and, we did everything. Correct. And what is your, what is the food drink ratio? Uh, so we're about 70-30. Uh, okay. Thank you yes. very much. Okay. So I will, do I have any members of the public on this item? <clears throat> Seeing none, I will go to Mrs. Brown. Move to approve. Great, thank you. Marco. Thank you. I'm going to ask the same question. Yeah, I've been in your restaurant. I know very well. Yes. And, and you always we uh, often over there in that in that section. And I, I I'm very happy to see that you're moving forward. But it's still the same question. Did you pay the rent or not? Okay, so we've been the rent for the whole last year, and this this beginning of the year we are a little bit late on the rent. Oh, we've okay. Been, okay yeah. I motion to have a, a second. 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 Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Do I have a thumbs up to call the question? Great. Barbara, Barbara got that. Okay. If anyone opposes this calling the question, let me know. Otherwise, we're going to the roll. This is going to go down as an approval. So if you're voting no, not voting for cause or abstaining. Uh, raise your hand now. Okay, seeing none, this will go as an approval. Thank you, Jerome, and continue. Thank good luck. You. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good evening. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Okay, then moving on to item 3D as in David. Do I have the representative for Serena's? <laughs> Anthony, you can unmute. Oh, Anthony, yep. Hi, good evening. Um, this is Anthony Barrett uh, representing Serena's. Um, we are located on 2nd Avenue between 67th and 66th Street. Um, again, um, we've, been um, we've been open for part of the year. We had to close. We don't have um, substantial outdoor seating and uh, because of the um, bike and bus lane on 2nd Avenue. And, and the no parking area. So we've just been relying on our sidewalk cafe. So um, we were closed for about four or five months during the year. And again, we did not receive the notice on the renewal from the SLA, or we missed the notice one way or the other. Um, we approached the community board who's been, and I wanna thank Will for helping us out, but we did put in a new application with the SLA uh, to renew our license. We posted the flyers and notices that, has, that have been requested and um, we, are, we are waiting for the renewal. Great, thank you. Uh, just for the record, hours of operation, 11 a.m. to 12 midnight daily, 70-30 food drink ratio. And now I will inquire for any public questions, comments. Judy Schneider has her hand up. Um, hi, I just want to speak on behalf of Serena's. It's been part of the community for a long time and a very good uh, place to have uh, something to eat or a drink. And I hope that the community board members will support this establishment. Thank, Thank you, Judy. Judy. Okay, any other public? Seeing none, then I'll go to Barry. No, I do support the application and move to approve. Great, thank you, Marco. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you for. And I'm going to ask the same question again. Uh, you has been closed, so basically it's a very hard time for you financially. Do you, I, are you running late in the payments of the with Lano or not? Well, I'll tell you that our revenues are down about forty percent from the Sorry year before, to hear that. and. Uh, you know, we do have a renegotiated rent. Oh, okay. So uh, we are in good standing with the landlord. Oh, you're in good standing. Great. Very good. I'm very happy to hear that. Second. Okay, wonderful. So that's a second. Thank you. Sorry, Abraham. Oh, yeah, no, it's okay. Uh, do I have a thumbs up to call the question? Barbara, I see your thumbs up. Russell, okay. If anyone opposes, uh, hand up or thump or something. 
If not, we will go to the roll. So again, this is gonna go down as an approval unless someone is voting no, not voting for cause or abstaining. Seeing none, this will go as a 6-0 approval. Thank you very much and good luck. Thanks, Anthony. Thank, thank you, thank you. Okay. Abraham, you mean 7-0, right? You counted yourself. Yes, seven. I did not count myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Matter. Okay. Uh, last but not least, do I have the representative for item 4A? For raised pizza? Hmm. Going once. Use the raised hand button or a reaction or turn on your camera. Do something to get our attention, please. Uh, let me look at the application. Is there Angela? a person named Angela? I don't see Angela. Uh, there was a Lisa uh, who. Lisa. Yeah, is there a Lisa B? I see, I see a Lisa there. And right. so maybe they have the wrong name listed. Lisa, if that's you, please unmute. Okay, that's unfortunate. All right, since they are not present, uh, we'll, we'll reach out to them and see what, let's reach out to them and see what the cause was because Okay, um, well, with that one outstanding, then I will, do we have any new business or old business? Seeing none. Marco has his uh, hand up. Marco? Oh, thank you. Uh, I think uh, this is, we should treat as a new business. Uh, I was very careful to ask the same question to all of the, of the restaurants. And I'm very happy to see that approximately 80% they pay the rent and 20% do not pay. In this, in this time, do not pay a 20%. I think we are doing great. I think this is a, a extraordinary in our neighborhood. And I'm very happy to, to see that. And, uh, and this is this statistic is extremely important for us because that allows you uh, to think in the future in any committee, it could be this one or any other committee, to start planning to see how to help them to move forward in, in this business. And um, I counted 80, uh, eight, eight people, eight the restaurants paid and two didn't pay, or at least they fixed the problem, which is great. I'm very happy to see that. We, it is correlated with my study that I did with um, the, the how many restaurants or what is the percentage has been operated in our neighborhood and is a match uh, directly with uh, city planning research that they did in our neighborhood so is i think it's approximately 80 percent too so we are doing okay in our neighborhood with the restaurants and with the landlords too and that's the only issue i would like to raise thank you thanks marco cause um, yeah, I'm just wondering, we've got about 50 or 60 attendees tonight. I'm just wondering if uh, we're giving something away or we're giving vaccine <laughs> appointments away or why all the people that came tonight? Just curious. Uh, there, there is an answer to that. Will, do you want to share? Yeah, I'll, I'll even unmute him himself. James, uh, if you want to explain what your class is doing here. 
Yeah, actually, uh, I'm James Bacher. I'm a professor at Hunter College. And I basically made a bunch, I made both of my classes tonight <laughs> see how politics is done. My first class is, uh, it's urban politics. And the second class is politics of NYC. So it, it happens that the one of the applications, um, Serena's, that's a, uh, a very dear friend of mine, is one of the, the gentlemen who owns it. So I, I wanted to, to show support and also force my students to see how it gets done. So thank you all for allowing us to, to uh, uh, in, intercede essentially on your, your meeting. No, that's great. We're very happy to have you. Uh, thank you very much. And you're welcome anytime. And you're also welcome to any other committee or the full board meeting. Um, so yeah, no, this is great. We expect, uh, you know, write-ups uh, that they, they have to turn into you. <laughs> Um, and uh, and if there's if there's any questions you have in terms because I, it's a little different over Zoom you don't get the full experience and that there's some other context so if there's any questions you could feel free to reach out to the board office if there's more procedural stuff that you think would be helpful uh, to your class or uh, we're happy to you know write something up as well. Absolutely, I know in in past years I've tried to set something up with the community board, but that's I guess an advantage of Zoom is now we can all be sitting in our living rooms and, right. and, and it'll, be, it'll be dependent on my students and whether or not they like you enough to invite you, but I'm sure they will. Fair enough, great. Thank you very much, Ian. And if they're ever looking for an internship, they can always <laughs> apply to our office as an internship program. Good, uh, okay. So Cause, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, and then Barbara, I see your hands up. I first want to, want to assure the professor that every meeting is as polite and wonderful as this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad they came to this one. I just want to say I come because I'm so excited that new restaurants are coming to our neighborhood. So many have left. So I'm coming just to say, where should I eat next? <laughs> and um, I appreciate this, the way you handle the meetings and so on. And I appreciate the people that have faith in the Upper East Side to say they're coming and opening up their doors to us. Thank you. Yes, it is great to see. Um, we're very happy about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Marco? Oh, thank you, Professor. Uh, I'm a former student of Hunter College. I was graduate as a master's degree in rural planning. So I know what it is. And um, you see me in action. And in this case, uh, because of the uh, COVID, which is something uh, every uh, 100 years happens. So we have to modify our way to think and to evaluate, to assess. And in my perspective, is always I'm trying to move forward with the business, regardless sometimes uh, that in the past I used to be more strict. But however, I maintain my criteria in some, uh, some specific business that always I, I, I'm going against that. But that is because they change dramatically the character of our neighborhood, which is residential. So that is the only part that you, if an application will come, I will be very strong. Otherwise, most of the time, as you see me, I'm the person that always raises the hands to approve because in this moment, what we need is this business. We need to be bring back um, because uh, the economy needs and the business industry, they create $1 trillion of dollars to the economy. So it's very important to bring back for business. Uh, otherwise, this is why I, I, you see me right away. Right, I support these applications. But at the same time, I'm trying to figure it out some statistics of the, of the issue because reading the newspaper, they say 80 and 90 percent they didn't pay the rent. I would like to see in my in our neighborhood how many they don't pay. So then we can see it well. We have to figure there are something to create a policy in our neighborhood. That is why always I'm keep repeating the same question because it's almost like a data that I would like to have it. It's a very simple sample, no scientific, but at least they give you an idea. And yes, I think you should be in another uh, meetings that are more contentious. And that's, you see, <laughs> in different position. And that's not nice. Barbara, she is playing very well. 
And, uh, and I would like that you should be there in those meetings. That's this very serious business. And thank you so much for coming. And thank you, um, uh, Abraham. Thanks, Marco. Appreciate it. And now uh, we'll close with our esteemed chair of the CBA, Russell. Thank you very much. So I just wanted to echo what Abraham said and, and welcome the class here. You guys are welcome. And as Abraham said, you know, to this or any other meeting in the future. Uh, and I also want to make a motion to adjourn. Great. I will second that. And I see Barbara's hand for seconding as well and Barry and cause. So, okay. All right. So with that, I would say we will adjourn. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, have a good evening. Uh, stay safe and we will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.